All right, you guys, it's Travis with Spartan Tackle Fishing, and welcome back to another Sharking Expedition. All right, y'all, once again, we are headed to Matagorda to do some truck camping and also some Gannet Pro Plus drone fishing. I have essentially three goals with this trip. Goal number one is obviously to catch some sharks for the Texas Shark Rodeo, get quick measurements, put a tag in it, get a DNA sample, release the fish healthy. Goal number two is to cook a meal on the beach. I wanna have dinner with something that I catch on the beach. So I'm hoping to catch a redfish, a slot red or something to have a meal. Goal number three is I wanna make a huge beach bonfire to show you guys what Texas is all about. Here's my only concern. It's gonna be really high sustained wind. It's probably gonna be winds around 20 miles an hour, if not higher. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to camp very well, and I'm really nervous about flying the drone because I have not flown the drone before. So I definitely do not recommend what I'm doing. Practice with the drone first. I'm just gonna send it because quite frankly, the weather has been absolutely horrible in Texas. Wish us luck. See you guys. All right, you guys, we're here getting bait. What we try to do when we go to Matagorda is right before we hit the beach, we try to hit this little turnout here. There's a lot of water. We try to take the cast net and just load up on mullet. We try never to spend uh, any money on any cut bait. So Julian's doing that now. He's gonna throw the cast net. Let's see how he does. That's the money right there, dude. I know it. That's the money right there, bro. We're gonna hit right here. I'm hoping, I'm feeling that spot. No way, no way. I think we've only not got mullet one other time before at the spot. My boy got one. We got one, man. Beautiful, bro. Anything else? I'm gonna give you the walk around right now of our camp. Uh, as you just saw, we caught that bull shark real quick. That was super awesome. So I'm gonna show you our camp, my new shark rack, the Gannett Pro Plus, and basically what I have attached to my shark rack. I'm really just trying to take advantage of Texas and the freedoms we have and the ability to camp on the beaches. So check this out, it's really awesome. Um, first thing we got here is the 23-0, 270 degree canopy. I absolutely love that, but I cannot open it yet because this, the winds right now are about 18 miles an hour, and I'm afraid it's gonna rip off my rack. This is an absolute beast, okay? It is super windy, the surf is super bad, so I'm testing out the Gannett Pro plus it's an amazing machine an amazing machine here's my tagging stuff there there's my surf stuff we got my drink cooler on the left bait cooler on the right check out my rack my rack is super cool I'm loving my rack so if we can get that right there amazing rack so got three lines out right now right here we got the shower 0.30 shower that pops out there and basically you can put a toilet shower whatever I'll have the tank on the front of the rack as well you know and there's our gravity chairs so pretty soon here we'll set this up we will set the canopy up or i'm sorry the awning up possibly depending on the wind i'm not sure if we will but um, i'm hoping to but i do not want that to rip off of my rack obviously super happy with my stuff uh, so far 23-0 awesome stuff blue streak rack always amazing gannet pro plus unbelievable so took out all the baits super quick took out three baits used 30 percent battery so three baits 30 percent battery i had 70 percent left it's just been an awesome day so far we've only been here for two hours i'll be checking in also i'm trying to get a redfish i'm gonna show y'all i could cook on the beach see you guys
I got two sharks for the Texas Shark Rodeo. That was a 59 inch bull shark female. Caught that on cow nose, little small chunks of cow nose. So I'm gonna drone another bait out right now. I mean, this is pretty unbelievable. So we're working on mission number two right now, which is our dinner. So far, this is what we got for dinner. Boom, right there. So that's what we got for dinner so far. That's gonna make a nice meal. It's gonna make a nice meal. We're really, really enjoying ourselves right now. The wind is picking up. You guys probably can't notice the wind <laughs> because of this mic right now, but it's probably about 19 sustained right now. So we're just doing the best we can, working on dinner <laughs> and more sharks. I mean, we've been here for probably three hours. We got two sharks and uh, two whiting. We're just gonna keep at it. Holy crap. Wow. That's freaking insane, dude. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do first is turn on the remote. Okay, the remote is on. Then I'm gonna turn on the drone. So those link up. Now, as this drone is turning on, What's gonna happen is, uh, it's eventually gonna start sending a Wi-Fi signal. The Wi-Fi signal I'm gonna eventually connect to with my cell phone. Once Wi-Fi is connected, I'm gonna go into the app. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. Let me show you how I'm gonna send it. Put that down for a minute. All right, follow me. So here's the rig I'm gonna use here. Um, mullet head. And basically, I'm just gonna send out one on the casted setup. Just a small little uh, leader what i've done is made a special drone attachment just to attach to this leader so that it will attach to really any leader so what i'm going to do is this okay so this is connected to the spinning reel here i'm going to try to go in between these two rods up here i have three rods up here if you can see so i'm going to attempt to take the drone out once again for the first time and go right in between those and catch a redfish or something so we can eat. I'm starving, I have not ate yet. I'm gonna try to not eat anything until we catch other than the uh, whiting. We already have that. Let's go check on the drone. Let's see if it's ready for the Wi-Fi. See that right there? Is it uh, clear? So I'm gonna go to the app now. Can it go? I'm gonna hit play right here. Boom. See, now I have picture. Now what I'm gonna do is take the drone to the bait. I should have put this around my neck first. That was a bit of a mistake. All right, so I gotta go in between. This is gonna be brutal. Like right here. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen up the bait release a little, just so there's like, Like no tension. Okay. So I'm gonna take this here. The attachment that I made, this little loop. I'm gonna put it through here and close this. Okay. And I'm gonna hit lock on the remote over here. Okay, it's locked now. Let me move this a little bit here. And what I'm gonna do is make a U, so that when it lifts up, that weight goes straight up, and uh, I'll hover to go straight up from that mullet head. All right, here we go. I'm gonna very carefully attempt to do this. Okay. Just wanna go right over that breaker right there and we'll be good. So once I get over that breaker, 
Hopefully the release is good. Okay, I'm over the breaker, I'm releasing now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and around, up and around to get the drone here. Okay, land here. Woo! Come up on this. I'm gonna try to do a super smooth landing here. Boom. All right, you guys, as you can see, that's number three. There we got our tag right there. It's not a big one, but I'll take it. That's number three today. It's about two o'clock. Checking in, it is three o'clock right now. I got four sharks. It has been non-stop action, so three o'clock, four sharks. Got two lines out right now. One line broke off, all on cow nose. They're hitting cow nose quick, quick. The drone is absolutely amazing. As I feared, also the wind is picking up substantially, so there's no way to make a shelter. We're not gonna be able to make a shelter tonight. I'm gonna be able to do a fire and cook, but definitely the shelter will rip apart like a tin can out here. It is super, super windy, but we are kicking butt. Everything tagged, everything DNA stampled and released. All right, you guys, it's dinner time right now. What I have is a cup of whiting. We have filleted out. I'm gonna do a recipe. I'm gonna go garlic, butter, capers. So it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna do that right now. Now, what I wanna point out as well, the wind is absolutely insane right now. What I did is I just set up my whole little kitchen area on the other side of my truck where there's no wind. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on right now. So we got our fillets here. But first, I'm gonna make the capers and the butter. Basically just a stick of butter, very hard. Probably just gonna take like half these capers, put like half those in there. Got some minced garlic already. So it is not easy to do this. Here, I'm just gonna take a spoon because I don't have a fork, unfortunately, a bit, and it'll be much easier to work with. So I'm just gonna make, take this foil, put the foil on the barbecue here, like this. Put a little bit of a moat type situation so that the butter and the capers and the garlic just just sits in there, just marinades. So I got some whiting cleaned, okay. Just these little fillets right here. These are super good. Okay, we filleted those two. So we got four fillets, two fish. I'm gonna put those, dry those off, put these on here like this. So see that little malt? So all the juices should sit in there. I'm gonna take this now. Fortunately, I was hoping the butter would be easy to work with. The only thing I'm missing is the lemon. Wish I had the lemon. All right, so I'm gonna put that on that grill. So essentially, I'm gonna put that on the grill right there. And I'm gonna have some tasty meal on the beach in some windstorm. I'm telling you guys, this wind is absolutely insane. Butter, garlic, caper, whiting. I'm gonna enjoy this right now. Sit tight. I'll show you the finished product here soon.
guys check out our camp basically just because it's so windy uh, and we're not going to have a shelter we're just going to use gravity chairs so we're putting gravity chairs on the other side of the truck as you can see here so we're just going to sleep right there and uh, i'm going to be able to see the rods up there but unfortunately because of the wind that's going to be our camping situation this time around it is what it is we love what we do, so this is what it takes. So, what I'm gonna do next is, I am going to try to build a massive fire because I can, because we could do that in Texas. So stay tuned for the massive fire. And uh, I believe that was seven sharks that uh, I got. Seven, I believe, for the rodeo. So, we're doing really well. Stay tuned for the campfire. All right, what I'm doing again is black beard fire starter kit. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to make a massive bonfire and uh, see if we can. So I'm going to put this mix throughout here real quick. I really hope I can. this works out. really hope this works out. <laughs> Blackbeard fire starter kit is pretty cool. But I got a lot of wood from the dunes. So I'm going to try to stack this high, really, really high. And um, I hope it ignites. That is the goal, man, it is windy. There's a wind storm right now. Storm's coming in, we see lightning in the distance. I mean, it's pretty, jeez. I have so much sand in my face. Can you see all that sand? Look at my face, I mean, it's brutal, okay. that fire right there. We're about to conclude it, you guys. We're gonna keep feeding this fire all night, stay in the gravity chair, stay out of the wind. Obviously, this is pretty wicked, but uh, thank you for tuning in, you guys. And uh, again, what we're trying to do is just fish clean, camp clean, have fun, and just promote good behavior. Hopefully, I'm focused here. I have no idea. It is so savage out here. It's like 24 mile hour winds. I have video equipment, fishing equipment, drone equipment. We love it. We'll see y'all later.